Remember the time we got those chocolate covered cashews and we thought they were bloom? But they were sea salt powder. Yeah, the there, there was cocoa powder on them. <laughs> make- <laughs> they're like, these taste fine. They're not they're, good. Yeah, what's eat more? No, no, we can't sell these. <laughs> oh, we'll eat them. Yeah. And welcome to episode 82, Gifts from the Kitchen. Uh, Mother's Day, it's on its way, and it's a good time to talk about some gifts that, you know, you can make things um, in the kitchen, um, and if you can purchase, since this is a food show, those will be the kitchen gifts as well. Hello, Phil. Good morning, Barbara. (laughs) Still on the mend, but sounding better every week. Oh, yeah, you think so, huh? (laughs) All right. Well, I'm just so trying to today's deal uh, we're going to talk about buying gifts for Mother's Day, right? Yes, that's, that's right. As they say in Brooklyn, mother. Mother. Yeah, mother. Yes. How's your mother? Uh, your father? Your father? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Where's that song from the camp? Hello, mother. Uh, hello, mother. Hello, father. Yes, yeah. my de- my mom loves that song. She'll be singing that right now. Now we've got what we've done today is we're just going to have a chat. Kind of made up a list, mm-hmm. and we'll just talk about a few ideas you can do. And if you want to make things um, for grandma, there's some lists, some things you can do with your kids in the house, or you know, for special people in your life as well. And then Brendan and I had a little bit of a um, uh, what do you want to call it? Fact finding trip. Yeah. Kind of went around a few stores, sort of made my own so, list as well of what you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might be reflected. So did you start in the appliance sections, you know, uh, vacuums and... No, that's not... Scrubbers? No. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Look, the... Look. And Brendan, you didn't direct her in those positions? No. The smart man. No, no, yeah. Brendan's the uh, vacuum fan. <laughs> um, no, but I just said there's two types of people yeah. on Mother's Day. Those that like the kitchen appliances and gadgets, mm-hmm. which I think I know someone else like me. And those like, like the, the uh, pampering stuff. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if we mention some appliances, don't get offended because I would happily. Have I just those. thought of something. So, does yes. the gift giving from the male to the female. Yes. Are we allowed to say that now? Yes, yeah, we okay. are. Yes. Um, does that vary as you get older and longer on into your. Well, first of all, for the husband, my wife, a Mother's Day gift, that's wrong. You should buy your mother a Mother's Day gift. That's right. You're not my mother. No, that's right. <laughs> right. That's why I told you oh. that all the time. Here's my Mother's Day gift. <laughs> <laughs> did you Although, she acts like my mother. Well, actually, no, she's worse. <laughs> no. Oh my god, she did, you know, risk her life bringing your child into the world. So it, there's a thankful all, present. It happens yeah. all the time. It happens, right? <laughs> One of my uh, huh? Yes. Um. Yeah. You know that that there's about a two day um, period after. Your wife has a child. Yeah. Where the husband or the father thinks that you are the most amazing. Oh my God, how did you do that? That is so amazing. Like you actually, so much pain. You had the baby. It's beautiful. And then that just wears right off. Like, yeah. Everyone, was that thousands of brat? babies yeah. born every day. It's exactly. no big deal. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, I was just trying to get to, you know, because a lot of husbands do buy gifts for their wives, you know, say, oh, it's from the children. So as you get on in life, mm-hmm. does it change from lingerie to pajamas or something in that order? Well, I don't know if you have little kids and you're not sleep. I don't know if you want lingerie then. That might be jammed yeah, then. Yeah. But as you get up, maybe it reverses. The, well, if the well kid- I'll go from pajamas to lingerie. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I'm her. thinking of other things, but uh, I can't uh, go on don't to. Don't say it about um, garments and stuff like that. Okay, I'll tell I, you in the break. I don't want to know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yes, we used to have Brendan's mother. Yeah, used to call Mother's Day. Hypocrite's Day. Hypocrite's, Hypocrite's Day. Day. Why? Because yeah. I don't understand. Well, because although I'm sure she didn't have to if she didn't want to, yeah, she would then decide that here it is Mother's Day and I'm the one cooking everything and cleaning everything for people to come over for Mother's Day. Oh, I got it. Instead of the, the, the children taking the mother yeah, out see, or somebody else cooking for the mother and then cleaning up that's afterwards. Right. Because they would leave the house and she's left with the mess. That's what she thought. Now, I, I, Yeah, and, I, I would be on her side there. Yeah. But to crack it. Year on year, and then we and you kept on doing the same. Oh, we used to say to Happy Hypocrite Day. So I am like, this is Mother's Day. I am yeah. doing 
Jack. So just bring me a paper and a coffee and I'll be fine. I'll talk to you guys later. Yep, that sounds good. That is right. I also am lucky enough some years to have Mother's Day and my birthday on the same day. Oh, happy birthday and Mother's Day. Day, So that's one present instead of two. No, 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 no. No. (laughs) We will split the day from uh, morning till about one o'clock. That can be Mother's Day. Yeah. And then from one o'clock to the evening, that could be birthday. Oh, okay. You see? There you got two. Two okay. days in two. one. Two. Well, it didn't work for my mother. I didn't get used to go Mother's Day. Hi, I'm your gift. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I used to get that for Christmas. Oh, here's your, because my birthday is like after, right after Christmas. Yes. Oh, two weeks after. Here's your birthday. Here's your Christmas yeah. card. And it's your birthday card. <laughs> I always felt sorry for December, January kids. Uh. I did. I there are a few people that I know that with December babies they celebrate the half birthday. So like in July, they'll, June and yeah, July they'll have a little idea. party. But yeah, it's. I had a friend that I worked with, Joan, and her birthday was Christmas Eve. Oh, and she God. hated it. And we're like, yeah. you and JC, you cannot be upset yeah, about that. Exactly. Oh, well, anyway, now we'll talk about um, a few things. So presents. So it was probably. Common practice in prehistory helping to maintain friendly relations between different groups of people by building bonds of trust between them. Uh, we, now, we know that the winter solstice, usually the 21st or 22nd of December, was an important time during the Neolithic period, which is your Christmas presents. Yeah. So I think presents, fun fact, one is like presents have been around forever. You do like to offer things. Sometimes it was offering your firstborn. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good gift. So yes, that's for right. Some people. Um, and yeah. of and then we go to pagan holidays. So like the twenty first and twenty second December, we've got Christmas gift giving. Mm-hmm. But someone decided on uh, see the fun fact too. The official Mother's Day holiday arose in the nineteen hundreds as a result of the efforts of Anna Jarvis daughter of Anne Reeves Jarvis. Following her mother's 1905 death, Anna Jarvis conceived of Mother's Day as a way of honoring the sacrifices mothers made for their children. I thought it was Hallmark Hallmark. that came up with that (laughs) idea. And then Hallmark, so let's make a buck out of this, baby. Yeah, then the Father's Day, Grandmother's Day, Kid's Day, yeah. Did she? First fun fact got knocked off by the Christians, and that became Christmas. And yeah. the second one got knocked off by Hallmark. Yeah, yeah, well, that's right. So you know, um, that's why they have like Postman's Day and uh, Step Parents Day and all sorts of interesting things. Okay, well, that concludes our first half, that's or first, right. for our first period. That's the first period. All right, we got three periods here. Yes, that's okay. right. And we'll have our face off in the next. <laughs> one. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. I know you're waiting for that. Yeah, you did. That's right. The genuine. And I'm awake now. Okay, Uh, so we're going to go on uh, 2.1. The list. The list. It sounds like a movie. (laughs) Well, I was looking at things that you could make. Mm -hmm. Right, because I love handmade gifts because it's just like, it's like Sister Monica used to say singing is praying twice because she was the choir director at school. It's like making a present. It's like. You, you thought the thought and you made the thing. Yeah, so it's it has a, a lot in for it. Yeah. I mean, Jeanette, I think she enjoys that because she makes a lot of baby quilts and things oh, like that. Yeah. And then she makes quilts like she bones that is happy hands thing, which mm. is, I wait for the, the uh, man's happy hands. You know? That's the men's shed. <laughs> <laughs> but the, so, so, so she makes like with that, they make things for, um, uh, like people are down and out or uh, nursing homes or and they hospice, just, I hospice yeah. she just did one, you know, where she's making like these quilts, the covered quilts that keep their legs warm and stuff. Mm. So and that keeps her really busy. Now, now she's making this thing for uh, Mary Jane. Yeah. Uh, and it's like a, um, a case, a, a pouch or something, you know, and it's, it's taking her forever, you know, because it's like all intricate and everything yeah. else. And then she's got to watch the YouTube every time to watch it, to do it. You know, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, she does some beautiful work yeah. in it. And she, I saw like the crazy cool stuff she was doing. Mm-hmm. It was her stuff's gorgeous, but yeah. So 
and I've been lucky enough to receive a few, like my glasses case and my bag and a few things from oh, yeah, Jeanette. From that, and, yeah. I love it, and my tote bag. Um, so I was thinking now a big thing at the moment, and this goes with the kitchen, is um, instead of using saran wrap or glad wrap, yeah. the beeswax covers, have you used those? Uh, no. I, I think I've, I've, I know where to get them. Yeah, you've probably seen them. Ainsley is um, gone all eco-friendly, so yeah. she uses them. So basically it takes the place of using foil or saran wrap for the putting things oh, in. Is, yeah, oh, okay. so we're showing one now, but you can't see it. So sticky. it is sticky because the wax forms to the bowl. So oh, when you're okay. putting things in the fridge or she wraps a sandwich in that yeah. or whatever. Yeah, in fact, I did buy Jeanette something like this, I think. I don't know, for birthday or Mother's Day. It cost me an absolute fortune, but it was done differently than this. And then uh, I don't think she ever used it. Well, <laughs> now, maybe this, maybe things will change. Yeah. Because you, she has that beautiful fabric collection. So yeah. anyone that has bits of fabric, you know how you're going to do something and you decide right. you and don't get around to it? And like paint it over it. Well, yeah. So what it's basically, there. look, there are instructions for all these things. If anyone wants something specific, they can email us and I'll send it out to them. Uh -huh. Or you can just Google it. Yeah. But basically, you kind of grate. Um, you get a, a square piece of fabric, just cotton fabric, yeah. and you grate um, beeswax on top of it, and you mm. melt it oh. in the oven, and it kind of soaks through. Mm -hmm. And you can just wash it, and you don't need to redo it for months. And yeah. you can just put a little more wax yeah, on it. Yeah, everything just rolls off. Yeah, so that's a nice thing to do, <laughs> yeah. and you can buy those as well. But yeah, well, I was we were at uh, the marketplace three one nine six in Wells yes. Road. Yes, and uh, there's. Uh, right next to our stand, there's a beeswax. Oh, perfect. <clears throat> so there's all these beeswax and the uh, honeycombs and all this other stuff. And everything like made out of beeswax. The only thing they didn't have what? was beeswax furniture polish. Oh, Remember yeah, that? that's the, oh yeah, because I redid a piece of furniture and I used to put that, it was yeah. beautiful. Uh, so we didn't have, they didn't have that there. I might know a mm. place. I might know a place if you can't find it. Now, and also I used to. Um, and then it doesn't clean the furniture. <laughs> She gives it to somebody else. Well, okay. So she gets like Mother's Day every week. <laughs> this is a not hang it on your wife <laughs> show. All right. People. All right. Oh, go on. Okay. Um, okay. I'm just giving a male's point of view. Uh, right. Okay. Now, just a question. Because I know in my house, yeah. when it, whether it's the dog or a child at two in the morning, uh -huh. if someone's having a nightmare or whatever, I don't, I'm the one that gets up. Oh. It's not like a... Not Brendan. I want Mama. That's oh, what the kids yes. used to say. I wasn't aware. Yeah. <laughs> you could have fought for her. Go to your mother. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Uh, now, only when the kid's in trouble. Talk to your father. Okay. Uh, so now you got all these things that you got to make or buy, but yeah, mostly to make. But you can make it, and you can buy some depending on the stores you go to. Like we've got, actually, we've got some really lovely organic hot cocoa, hot chocolate mixes in the shop, mm -hmm. but you can also... You, you make can your make own, a, right? That's right. So you just make a big jar of it and you can, you know, it's like basically cocoa, milk powder, sugar. Yeah, marshmallows. Yeah, and, and sweetened cocoa, corn. Yeah, sometimes, some of them have cornstarch. I've yeah, seen. use a nice, like a mason jar. I've seen them yeah. and they're like layered and stuff like that. That's right. And you yeah, just have. like those sand things you used to do in the 70s. <laughs> that's right. They used to do those at weddings too and then that went out of fashion. Um, so you, you can do that and it's nice to have that in the cupboard. Yeah, just, uh, just going through this, speaking of weddings and, and yes. There's no macrame in here. No, but you could. <laughs> you could. Or how about crocheting those dish cloth, those little dish. Oh, the dollies. No, oh, God. For the toilet paper rolls. <laughs> and a, a teacup. <laughs> uh, remember they used to do the toilet paper rolls and make it look like a dog? Yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, so I this did. could all be coming back. It could be. Well, everyone's we becoming. We might start it right here. There is a thing called like grandma core, where people are trying to be like these little ladies and doing the crochet <laughs> and things. Maddie at work yeah. crochets all the time. She's oh. made her cat hats. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you you can make your own Bailey's or yeah. Irish cream. Mm. Um, you can make your own limoncello. That one is dead easy because that is and vodka a, and lemon juice. And peel. And, and peel. And just, oh, it'd be just, sweet too. You need sugar. Yeah, you can do sugar. Um, I've got a recipe for that. Mm -hmm. um, you've got vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. That is a great idea too. So you just, it's vodka, rum, whatever alcohol yeah. you like, and some um, vanilla beans. And you just pop that in there and put it in a dark cupboard for about eight weeks. Yeah. And 
there you go. You can keep topping it up. Ooh. If you take the beans out of it, it lasts you know, it's forever until it's gone. If you leave the beans in for a period of time, you can keep topping it up. Yeah. You got to top up because, you know, the alcohol, so yeah. way nothing grows in there. But it's, yeah, that's right. Well, if they're saying use Everclear, which I don't know if you can find here, but yes, mm. you use that. Nothing will grow in Everclear um, except bad reputations. Yeah. Um, and I've got van- pumpkin spice latte mix. There's a recipe for that as well. And that's another cute little jar. And there's also um, a French vanilla coffee mix I found a recipe for, which hasn't made it to there. But it's things like instant coffee powder, dry milk powder, coffee creamer, sugar, and instant vanilla pudding mix. It's got. Make it creamy. Make it creamy. And you put them just in a jar and you use three spoons of it Mm -hmm. and some hot water and Bob's your uncle. But I remember back in the day, everybody was making their own Kahlua. Yes. Yeah, you know, just using vodka and uh, coffee. coffee. Yeah, instant and, coffee and sugar. You know. That, well, what was your, what did your mom make? At? Was it Bailey's or Advoca? Bailey's. Yeah. She tasted it and enjoyed it. I fell asleep yeah. afterward. <laughs> as, as you would. <laughs> you yeah. would now. Just going back to um, the vanilla again. Another thing that's handy is. You know, if you have a household that's gluten free, it's gluten free. Right. It's just all natural. It's nice to clean the fridge with it. After you clean the fridge, use the vanilla. Oh yeah. yeah, that's nice. Mm-hmm. That's very nice. And always make sure with something like that, you sterilize. And the um, Bailey's or the limoncello, mm-hmm. you sterilize the bottle first. So boiling water through it or yeah, stick it in the oven won't kill it. Well, let's Probably just <laughs> be extra, extra. Um, there's things like um, some baking mixes. Yeah. So brownie mix. Um, there's a great one that make your own pancake mix. Well, you can too. Yeah, so you can make your own like yeah. biscuit mm-hmm. as well. Somebody was commenting on uh, Facebook on like one of the American sites about yeah. pancakes, and somebody had like a the menu or something from one of the pancake places here. I don't think it was the pancake parlor, but you know the the things were going. How could you spend like eighteen dollars for three pancakes? You know. <laughs> Like when you could go to Denny's, you get three pancakes, three pieces of bacon, three sausages, two eggs, and coffee for three ninety nine. You know, well, it's probably five ninety nine now. Yeah, but I know it, it makes no sense. And pancakes are like the cheapest things to make. You know? Well, it's all the stuff that they put with it, and yeah. the rent, and the rent. Not where over here. Yeah. Well, yeah, you think of the cost of living here when You're, those sort yeah, of places. but still, I think pancakes, and then they don't eat it for breakfast. You know, no, they serve with ice cream on it. Okay. Although I want waffles with ice cream, and then I make a waffle sandwich. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, I haven't had that. Good. And then you know you get the hot and cold in your mouth, and even if you don't have sensitive teeth, they become sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> the sugar helps with that too. It binds every <laughs> yeah. every defense in your mouth. Oh, do you know what? There's a pancake place that's opened up near us uh-huh. at Southland. The pancake parlor opened up. I say we go for breakfast meetings. Oh, got a meeting tomorrow. <laughs> well, that's right. It's well, in the I'm... afternoon. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But I say in the future, we do morning ones. I didn't know that till yesterday because I don't use uh, Discord. Discord, yeah. Phil? I'm not using it. No. Okay. Well, uh, then, okay. But I'm semi retarded. I'm retired. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. so, so, so we'll just have to remind you. Did you? Oh, you, but he lies, though, because occasionally he pops up. Who? You on Discord. Occasionally, about twice a year, you'll comment oh, on something yeah. going, he's lurking. Yeah, He's I'm lurking, lurking, I'm in, lurking the in the background. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Now I found a really good homemade cookie mix, right? And because it's a base, and then you can add anything to it. So you can make, um, you know, put make it peanut butter cookies by adding peanut butter to it, M and M's, um, butter pecan cookies, mm. all sorts of things. But it's really simple. I'll just go quickly with the recipes are, so you know you can do this pretty much. Like I think some people. You know, the busiest day yeah. at the mall is the Saturday before Mother's Day, and there's usually no women there because it's the last minute. Oops. It's like Christmas Eve. Yeah. So this you probably have in your pantry. So six cups of flour, you need two cups of sugar, a cup of brown sugar, two cups of, oh, two tablespoons of baking powder, two teaspoons salt, one cup of solid vegetable shortening, a.k.a. Crisco, Crisco. Mm-hmm. and one cup of unsalted butter. So you mix that all together. Yep. 
and then you store it, but then you can add you know, chocolate chips and all those other things to vary it. And that's a nice present you can throw together with your kids if you want the night before. Right. That's it. And it looks like you thought about it. Mm. Well, see, like uh, for me, Jeanette, like my baking now, like mm -hmm. bread bake. So I started making ciabatta. I can't wait to. Can you bring some things? Oh, well, I got a, a call because then I made my ciabatta, and the ciabatta recipe is very similar to making a bayali. Right. So I made bayalis to see how they would come out. And so now I got a request is, could you make bayalis again? And I thought you were on a gluten free diet, the keto. How are you eating bayalis? <laughs> so you have a cheat day. But she ate all of them. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, I made four. I got one. <laughs> She's got some making up to do. Uh, That's reasonable. Yeah, but it's a, um, I mean, to, to make bread, uh, like ciabatta is a very, very simple bread to make. You don't even need a mix if you don't want to mm -hmm. because it's very wet. Right. And the recipe that I got it from originally, it the guy like lied. You know, he said, oh, one and a third cup of water. No, you're about one and a third cut short of water. Uh, right. Uh, so it's got to be almost like the texture of a pancake batter. Right. So very, very wet. Very wet. Yeah. So basically it's flour, mm -hmm. yeast, salt, and not too much salt. Like his recipe called for a tablespoon of salt. The first That's one I made it was like, oh. Like salt peter or whatever yeah, that yeah, tastes yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and sugar. So you gotta cut that down. So now I substituted the salt with celery salt, my favorite salt. Nice. And yes. I also use garlic salt. Um and so I cut that down to about a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. And that, that seems just about right. And um a lot more water. So what I do is uh, just like my pizza dough, I put in warm water mm -hmm. and uh you know, we're fortunate I could get fresh yeast from uh our local deli and and I use that so that's about 200 grams that I don't one packet uh, right. dry and I put that in a bowl probably about a cup of that of warm water and uh, two or three heaping tablespoons of flour right. and I whisk that up and let that sit and let that bloom then add the rest of the water and flour and just keep on stirring it even with a fork because it's right. that wet okay and and when you get to you know, make as much as you want and just adjust yeast if you're making, that's enough probably for about 400 grams of flour. Right. Enough for a nice big loaf. Or, uh, you know, if you're going to make more, just add more yeast if you want. But the yeast will work itself anyway, even yep. if you, even with that little bit. And once you get it all nice and wet, then you cover it, let it rise, get a spatula, tap it down, and don't even take it out of the bowl. Just keep on tapping it down. Yep. And he only let it rise once, but... If you really want a good taste, you got to let it rise at least twice. Yep. And then probably a third rise in the refrigerator overnight. Oh, uh, yes. Then you put it on a very floured uh, bed, mm. okay, because it is very sticky. So you got to, you know, maybe even put a little olive oil yeah, in Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah. if you need And also olive oil. olive oil goes into the mix too. Uh, right. About two tablespoons of good olive oil. And uh, yeah, you use flour and it's really sloppy, okay, <laughs> but it tastes good. So- and then I, I put it onto a baking sheet, let it sit there, get the oven up to 230 degrees, mm -hmm. put it into a nice hot oven, okay? And it comes and just goes, whoop, pops Ooh, right up. And the bialis, I made the mixture for the middle and uh, using the same thing. And it, it tastes really good. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Mm. I like that idea. Well, yeah. I think you need to bring those in though. Yeah. Well, <laughs> You'd have to do bayali, so I'll just take the... It, yeah, well, the, the next batch tomato. I'm doing, I'm just doing bayali. Uh, well, okay, if you have okay. to. That's no, yeah. all right. Oh. I was going to do the bayali in the pizza oven, but you can't get them into the pizza oven because they're so... Too, yeah, I was <laughs> just thinking it'd be too sticky. Yeah. So I pre-cooked them a bit in the oven, then I took them and put them in the pizza oven. Uh, now, I have to say a quick aside. I've just realized I left the grits in the fridge at work, so uh, I'll have to get that filled. Did you taste them? Yes. They're mm. so good. Like cheesy oh, so, ham and cheese grits. Yeah, ham and cheese grits. And that's something they also that you can make. Breakfast mo for the for morning. breakfast morning. Oh, yeah. And that, that recipe was, so was on the Southern Woman's yep. uh, website. Uh, but it was, I don't know. I don't remember the recipe. I don't even I just sent it out to everybody. I said, oh, this looks really good. And then I picked it up and made it. And she did a great job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yes, so actually, that's kicking around too. So if you yeah. want that specifically, I saved that one because I thought, mm -hmm. um, and it tastes, I can tell you it tastes good. Yeah. Now, the next thing I have um, got here is something, speaking of Jeanette, Jeanette makes 
It's like the Muddy Buddies. Oh, Muddy, yeah. Yeah, that's a great gift as well. Mm -hmm. And so it's so nice when she does it for us at work. We get a big batch usually. So that's just using checks mix or checks. Yeah. So you can use um, and chocolate and peanut butter and all the good stuff and powdered sugar and it all melts together and it's um, very addictive. Yeah. You can also do, there's a candy crunch one, which is very similar with Czech cereal, except it's got pretzels and mini chopped up mini peanut butter cups mm -hmm. and all you those throw things. whatever you like in there. Yeah. Oh, gosh. That's yeah. good. And that's also nice to stick in a jar. A nice jar and one yeah. of those lids that. Uh, with the metal things yeah, on this. Yeah, for mom. Yep. Until everyone and, else gets uh, it. And then you got here, one of my favorites, bacon jam. Oh, yeah. I haven't made bacon jam in ages. Now, tell me how you make your bacon jam. Well, I got the recipe from, uh, remember Dina when she was here? Yes. So her sister came over, and we had a big Canada Day over at their house. And she made bacon jam. And I said, how did you make this? That's magic. It's not, it just takes a little bit of time, but it's not hard. It's like, you know, bacon and like a, a shot of coffee, you know, espresso, mm -hmm. and what else was in it? I don't. I think there was. I, I don't even remember the recipe, but it's not <laughs> hard to make. It's like like three different things that go into it, yes. and it all just comes together. I know sugar's in it. Yes, and I know the coffee's in it. I don't remember anything else that's in it. <laughs> well, I think like the recipe I have here. So give us an. It has. Oh. Well, but I'll, it won't be, you can, like you said, you can really put anything in it. So here's this for a base. So you can take it out. Yeah, you so, got onions, yeah. Yeah, pan of bacon, um, a large onion diced, um, two cloves of garlic. A I don't third, think garlic was in it. No, hers. I don't think we usually, so this has balsamic vinegar and brown sugar. sugar. Yeah, brown sugar, definitely. And yeah. I have also seen recipes that have maple syrup in it. Yeah. Um, but the coffee sounds really good. Yeah, it you gives need it a that, shot of coffee. I love that idea. Yeah. And that it gives is, a tartness to it. It would it too. It cuts the sugar a bit. It is. That's a nice thing to make a few little things like that yeah, to have for breakfast in the, in the morning. Yeah. For a while. Yeah, because it's already cooked. It's like uh, like jam, you know. It is fantastic. Yeah. That would be good on a scone. Yeah. And then you got seasoning mixes. Yeah. So that's also another thing you could just throw together and put in a nice little jar. If you can find a nice jar. Yeah. There's plenty of places to find nice little jars and stuff like that. Oh, now there's a place too. So, so if you're not doing this, and you're doing the last minute run, yeah. and they they have some as some spice blends as well. I can never say the name correctly, so I do apologize. It was Gewurztraminer uh -huh. ha House yeah. spices. Right. There's one in like the Block Arcade. There's one in Chadston. So it's a spice place. Oh, okay. So you can even buy it like by the scoop and fill your own yeah. little bags. And it, there's also down in Mornington, there's mm -hmm. a, a bulk store, an all-natural bulk store. Oh, okay. And, you know, just buy everything by the gram. You know? That's perfect. And all different spices, all different nuts and oh, that's, uh, everything. And it's all, uh, you know, all U.S., not USDA, because whatever the, the thing is over certified here. Certified organic? Yeah, certified organic, yeah. Well, yeah, so we have some, some of them like you can do – you know, uh, a chili seasoning. Mm -hmm. um, so chili powder. Now, yeah, chili powder is a bit tricky. So chili powder in Australia, I think we've talked about this when we talked about chili before, it's just hot chili. Yeah. It's not like that. you need a chili powder blend. Um, paprika, cocoa powder, Mexican oregano, which we are talking about last week as well. Um, some sugar, some cumin, a little bit of coriander, red pepper flakes, um, black pepper and – Eighth teaspoon of salt or celery salt. Mm -hmm. um, there's Greek spice blend. There's Italian seasonings. So there's all sorts of blends you can do. Um, but what I like, and my friend Amy, yeah. oh, you remember Amy? Yeah. She used to make rosemary salt because she had a lot of herbs in the front yard. So mm -hmm. she would get um, when the rose when there's too much rosary because rosemary because it can take over a bit. She would chop that up and mix it with salt, and then you let it dry a little bit, and then you mix it with coarse salt, Yeah, and it lasts forever, yeah. and it's so good on it's steak. Good on, on steak or lamb. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. oh, anything. So that yes. was very handy. Okay, and then you got dolce di leche. Yes. Sounds like a wrestler. Doesn't it? Oh, that, the wrestling, you know, so you had WWF. You know, yeah, and, and we've got dolce. Di leche. That's all the Mexican restaurant, <laughs> restaurants, <laughs> wrestlers here. Now, that is... The most simple recipe known to man. Mm. It is you stick a can of sweetened condensed milk. Right. And you boil it. Okay, make sure the water's up. You yep. boil it for three hours. 
on, on a on a in a I put it in a pot. Yeah. And I put a towel underneath it so it's not touching the bottom or a trivet. Right. And you just let the water bubble. So the water, so it's like one inside the other. Well, no, you got a big pot and you stick the can in. Oh, you stick the whole can in. The whole oh, can okay. in. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep. And then it bubbles and bubbles away for three hours. You got to, you can't go anywhere. You can't take a long phone call upstairs. Yeah. Don't have a shower. Okay. You just make sure the water is up top. Then you take it out. You let it cool. And when you open it, it's the most beautiful caramel. Well, you you got to open the can up, right? No. Nope. Wouldn't it blow up? Nope. It won't blow up. It will not blow up. Mm. If you're an idiot and stick it in the fire, it'll blow up. Yeah. Or you don't let the water, you know, you don't keep the water topped up. Right. But I have made dozens and dozens and dozens. Oh, so if you, if you are feeling uncomfortable, uh-huh. you can do it similarly in the oven. Open the can, put it in a dish. But it, you'll get little burnt edges sometimes too. Yeah. But just in a pot of boiling water for hours and hours. And you can put that in a lovely – and then if you want salted. Oh, you call them well. Yeah, salted Just put caramel. that in there and just a lovely little jar oh, as well. Beautiful. You can have that go next to your bacon jam. Um, chocolate nut bark. Mm. That's With dead sea easy. sea salt. Yeah. Now, that reminds me of yes. like, you know, you make that and um, you know, melt into chocolate and all yep. that. And I guess you put it out and make a bar out of it. Uh, if you go to what they haven't had at Costco a long time, the uh, the Italian hard uh, cookies, the amaretto cookies. Oh yeah, and then put that on top of the cookies. Oh, Ooh. that's beautiful. Well, and you know that's what? very Northern California. It is. <laughs> when I used to go to Clara's house next door, I get the little amaretto and the biscotti. Um, yeah, biscotti. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is, biscotti. But she used to give the amaretti biscuits in the big wrappers. Oh yeah. Oh, well, those you we had a recipe where you use fresh figs, and then you sprinkle on some amaretto, and then you crush those almond cookies on top oh, of them. Oh man, that sounds really good. Yes, that would be a nice. Wouldn't that be a nice little treat to have on Mother's Day if you were making lunch? Yeah. for the family. Well, I just finished because again they haven't had the uh, the biscotti for a while. I haven't seen it in Costco, but I'm down to my last cookie. And Jeanette goes, "Why don't you just eat it?" I said, "No, I just had one." And I want to save it. And so I said, but I want the jar. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, take the j- <laughs> So I got. I, More to the point. But the best part of it is all the, the crumbs. The crumbs on the bottom. Did you put that in a Ziploc? Yeah. Yes, that's right. <laughs> that, ain't go- that wasn't going in the garbage. No way. No, no. Uh, now, I'll tell you another good thing. Because so you get peanut butter, you dip it into that. <laughs> into the crumbs oh that's good oh phil that's very good (laughs) how did i not think of that i am not sure um now the chocolate nut bark is really simple because you're just going to melt chocolate and you can do big chunky bits of nuts or you know whole nuts in it but if you happen to have you know some chocolate that might be heat damaged or it's been in the drawer once you melt it yes and well and it just because we've had you know Sometimes the containers come over, and it the if the chocolate's on top, <laughs> it can be damaged. Well, we try to get them all in refrigerated yes, containers. Yes, we but do. You can't get a refrigerated container, so we have to take the risk of yeah. shipping it. And it's like you know, pitching a coin up in the air, heads yeah. and tails. You know, we don't know. That's right, and it doesn't mean everything in the same container is no, hurt. Yeah, it, it, you it, get it, one that's perfect, and the one next to it is gone. And unfortunately, you know, at work, we have to taste a whole bunch of things to yeah. make sure it's all, just open that one. Well, I got some, well, the, like we got all the Heath bars in mm-hmm. and, you know, we have to sample them. Yeah. yeah well, and, I mean, they, they were bloomed. That's what yeah. they call it when the Heath is bloomed. But they, you know, if you had a blindfold on, you wouldn't be, tell the difference because I ate the whole thing and it's fine. It's good. Well, the thing is, if you like crush those, you can put those in cookies. Like yeah. they're not, it's not bad. It's just. It's bloomed. Bloomed. That's yeah. it. So, you know, if I you find look it, up the, the, what happens when it blooms. I think what happens is the cocoa butter. It separates from yeah, something. Yeah, comes to the top. Yeah. I think then that's what the white, white is. is. But if you're remelting it, yeah. if there's, you know, if you ever see them on special, wherever you see them on special, even with us, you can melt it and use the chocolate. Yeah, and it's still good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, remember the time we got those chocolate covered cashews? And we thought they were bloom. But they were sea salt powder. Yeah, there, there was cocoa powder on them. Make- <laughs> they're like, these taste fine. They're not they're, good. Yeah, what's eat more? No, no, we can't sell these. <laughs> oh, we'll eat them. Yeah. I think personally in the office, we would have eaten like 
almost a case of those things. <laughs> they were beautiful, too, until yeah. who was it one day? Somebody was, looked at the picture on the packet. And went, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and that sort of goes <coughs> into the next thing with truffles. Yes. So you just make ganache with chocolate and cream mm -hmm. and then just let that solidify a little bit and roll it in some cocoa powder. And you've got beautiful truffles or in the little jimmies. So the chocolate jimmies, the chocolate sprinkles. Yeah. Oh, or sprinkles. The jimmies as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, Okay. Ants. Tomato, yeah. tomato, yeah. Um, you know, or crushed nuts or whatever. You can put even put a little bit of um, the, the gold dust. Biscotti. Oh, biscotti, <laughs> yes. That's right. And you can put a little bit of, um, if your mother happens to like a little bit of amaretto or some Kahlua, you can put a little bit of alcohol Ooh. in there as well. Um, now you got my, my, my granola. Yes. My, my, my <laughs> granola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. So you can make this sounds like a this sounds like a breakfast or brunch pack, which is not bad. Yeah, like I you know, I just had um honey bunch of oats. I love that. And and that's like a cereal with like big things of granola in there. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's got everything. Yeah. It's just got surprises. It's a it's a good cereal. I like that. I do too. Um like I will make um granola or i used to make it a lot when the kids were in school yeah. and you know i use oats i'll get some coconut in there i'll get um some chopped nuts depending on what they liked at the minute and um i would add almond um almond meal in there because mm -hmm. it would just sort of coat it a little bit a bit yeah. of extra and you can do peanut butter as well yeah. but then i would toast it in the pan with just a little bit of oil and make it crunchy mm -hmm. And the kids used to love it. Yeah. Okay. And then we got apple butter. Now, Jeanette made apple butter a while ago. And there's only so much apple butter you could you like. You're like, oh, I haven't apple butter in a long time. You have one little serve of it. That's, That's enough. enough. <laughs> 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 She's got 22 jars in the refrigerator. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah lemon passion butter. fruit butter. Yeah. It was yeah. the same thing. It's good yeah that's why you give it away to people yeah. but it's actually a small jar of it that's all <laughs> apple butter we will probably talk about that on next week's show because that because we're going to be talking about slow cooking yeah and it's really easy to make in the slow cooker oh okay um but i love it it's one of those just things, don't make a lot of it don't make a lot of it. <laughs> you can make and I miss the taste of it because there there is like apple cider, like that real autumn apple sort of mm -hmm. flavor. We don't really have that yeah. here, that tradition. So I do miss that. And people do miss that as well. And they got pickles. 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 So now, if you want to make it easy, we got yep. Mrs. Wages. Yes. Yeah. And uh, she has like bread and butter pickles mm -hmm. and dill pickle, kosher dill pickles. And that's a spicy one too. Is there a spicy, a spicy pickle? spicy one. And then also salsa. She does uh, mm -hmm. salsa mixes. So those are all dry mixes that you make your own, you do your own pickling with. Yeah. So, so, so all that hard part of like going to the store and you got to buy a bottle of this, a bottle of that, 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 that. Next thing you know, a jar of pickles costs you $72.85. That's right. Yeah. So you just buy a packet with all that stuff already mixed together. Boom. Well, you know, it'd be really nice too, because if the person you're giving this to <laughs> loves to do things like that, like a couple of nice jars, some the pickling mixes yep. and a few other bits and pieces, maybe some fresh dill or whatever. That's a nice little yeah, it is. So they can do it themselves, mm -hmm. maybe cucumbers. Yeah, and it's, uh, you know, they feel good after they come out. They taste good. Oh, yeah. You know, and you could, uh, because it's hard to get like proper pickles, uh, you know, cucumbers here. Yes, it yeah, is. You get the Lebanese cucumbers, but they're not the. The right ones. Yeah. In, you get but the now baby they sell, ones. Sell, yeah, the little one, the cukes. Yeah. You could use those. And they're quite good because Adam, one of the guys that works with us, he made pickles. Oh. Uh, so we've mm -hmm. tasted it and it's really, it was lovely. He used the cukes? He, yeah, and he used the dill. Yeah. And it was really good. So I highly recommend that. And th simple things, again, much like um, the vanilla extract, chili oil. Yeah. So really good olive oil and some chilies. Chili, and just let it. And just let it do its, do its job. Mm -hmm. Now, now, homemade bath bombs. Yes, you can make homemade bath bombs. It gives me other thoughts, you know. It's... <laughs> the bombs? No, no, just the bubbles coming up from the bathtub. That's... Oh, God. <laughs> you know, Phil, <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> a little rubber ducky put underneath the, the, right. the, the water and let go of it and the bubbles come up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm thinking about Eddie Murphy. He's like, it's like a jacuzzi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, no, I was probably the only Eddie Murphy bit that I can say. <laughs> um, so it's on the McKenzie. The easiest recipe I found is on the McKenzie's food site. So you can look that up. So it's basically um, the bicarb. So you use that and you use, you can use lavender oil or any oils that you like. You can color them as you like mm. and you can make them in a muffin tin. Um, so you got to cook them? No, you just oh, press, press them. them. Yeah. And so you can make a bunch of them or, or just a couple. And that's a nice little, there's the pampering gift for you. Okay. All yes. right. So there's more. There's more. These are, these, these are quick. We these, got quick ones, okay. <clears throat> these are the um, this this is my list. Remember okay. I told you we went oh, shopping. Oh, this is yes. This is your <laughs> this is your. You got this, Brendan. Okay, yeah, make sure sure. the girls get this. Okay, so yeah, they know what to buy, mother. Everyone yeah. get this. Knives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie gave me a cleaver for Christmas. Ooh, clover. <laughs> I love it so much. So things like if you're really splashing out, there's a lovely La Crusade around. Um, I have, I love Nordic wear. Mm -hmm. I received my first bunt pan at Christmas time that I adore. But um, this time of year, because there's Easter things, there's also little, um, so pans are like, you can make a rabbit. You can make a beehive. You can make... And oh, that's all Nordic where they do yeah, that? Yeah, oh. and some beautiful things. I was just looking for the uh, the Detroit pizza pan. <laughs> they probably have it, but they don't sell it here. Probably, yes. Right. Um, and they also have, like, just beautiful shapes. And some people, the thought of this actually made Brendan make a face when I said it because yeah. it's gold, it's beautiful. Some people actually, like, oh, yeah, put them, them on, on the wall. wall. Yeah. Hmm. And that would be so good. Yeah. Honey... <laughs> That's okay. Maybe my next husband. Okay. <laughs> I said. I'd oh. forewarn him. <laughs> <laughs> what if I met him at a Nordic wear sale? Well, then yeah. it'd be fine. <laughs> and he has a. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to just hand me over. <laughs> he has the horns up on there and everything. Yeah. A Viking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looks like it just came from a Viking game. Uh, yeah, yes. From Minnesota. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like some really special, like if you go to a specialty shop, there's some beautiful linen tea towels and so these you, are towels you never use yeah yeah they're pretty you put them up and the company comes over and if you go to touch them you go, don't touch that yeah, don't no wipe your hands on those right. actually i had a really pretty one up yeah. that someone gave me and i had a i washed a frying pan and i had to wipe it and i'm like uh -oh. i'm not using that so i went and got a serviette <laughs> Like I'm not wrecking my head. Um, that was one of like a gift when you go places. You know, you always brought back people tea towels, especially like when you first came over to Australia because they were all over all the markets and everything. Yeah, yeah. You had one kookaburros on it and a map of Australia. And, yeah, yeah. Brendan's mum had the cricket rules. But I've given them to your mum and she loves them. Yeah, mum, I sent. She They're probably loves all them. in the closet right now. They're never used. <laughs> she loves the tea towels. Um, and you can get some specialty syrups like chai syrup or really yeah. nice maple syrups, which we have a really nice one in at work at the moment that has like a vanilla in as oh, with well. The, with the horns, with the antlers on it. No, no, no. It's a different one as well. I can't I know think of the name of it. we got a lot of specialty we, ones like that. We have so many. So actually, yeah. if you're making a little uh, breakfast gift yeah. basket, check out the maple syrups because yeah. um, I can't even keep track of them at the moment. Yeah. And, and then we... When I went to that place, that French place, I told you about that yep. syrups and jams and all that there. That's also really nice. Yeah, the French Provador, it's the French called. French Provador, yeah. On, um, uh, was, uh, it's near the Station Moravian Street. Station. Yep, yep, Station Street. Off of South Road. So about 10 minutes from our shop. Yes. So So if you go straight up, like right before you get to Nepean Highway, mm -hmm. you got Station Street, turn left there. It's right there, like the second store off the corner. Is the toasty place still there? To toasty there? place okay, is there. Okay, let's get a down sandwich. The around. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and we've got, like the, yeah, we've got Tarani syrups coming in well as well. <laughs> we got, do we have Tarani? We syrup? have all the Taranis. I'm very excited. I think we got about 70 different flavors oh coming my God. in. Well. But we didn't get the uh, uh, waffles and chicken and waffle flavor. Oh. That wasn't on the list. Oh, well. But we can't have everything. Yeah, but, someone went a little crazy on the. But you know what? Why don't, we, do we are going to do yeah. a show on it. People love them. I oh. mean, it's like one of those popular, I probably passed the. Fritos and the corn chips and all the unhealthy stuff. That's probably yeah. and all the sugar-free ones too. 
Well, and that's really handy for people. A lot of cafes buy the sugar-free ones from us. Um, and you can also make Italian sodas and all sorts of good yeah. stuff. So we will talk about that as well, but we have that. Now, I found I was in um, the good old mothership Williams of Sonoma, uh -huh. and I found some uh, Nielsen Massey um, vanilla, just a little bottle. I don't know how many mils it was. $75. 80 80 I yeah, I was in sticker shock, so I didn't yeah. check the mills. Well, I remember going back a few years ago, going with John DeRosa. Yeah. And in his shop. And he has like, they got oil. This is in California. He's got like all the liquor all locked up, mm -hmm. all the specialty liquor. And I'm walking down with him. I said, how come you don't have the vanilla locked up? It's like a little bitty jar like this. It's like $32 for like two yeah. ounces. It's gone like crazy. It has. It's like gold now. Yeah. Um, another good thing, if you're looking for something like... um. I love a themed gift. I love give, I love making these for people. As yeah. in, here's a cheese board or a board, a uh, charcuterie board or yeah. an antipasto board. And here's some cheese knives and here's a little bits and pieces that you can use with it. But cheese knives, like some nice ones, a really good present. We with a little hook on it with the little, yeah. so you can pick it, cut it and pick it up and eat it. Yep. Yeah. My beautiful Just friend Terry gave us some for our wedding and we use them. We still, 30 years later, they're still in use. Yeah. That's a good wedding gift, actually. That's well, not something you use every day. No, well, yeah. you take it out when the company's crying. Yeah. yeah, but although sometimes we have um, like cheese dinner, oh. like do you want just like antipasto for dinner? So we'll go get some salami and some oh, caban nice. and all yeah. that. A nice glass of wine. Oh, oh. yeah, that's it. Crusty bread, you're done. We 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 all like an air fryer. Yep. I like that. So the air on this is more on the appliances. appliances. So you're not into that uh, thing they advertise on TV with the two ro rotary things that you. Clean the, no. Yeah, you could put it up in the air. No. And, uh, okay. No, no, no. No. Uh, I'm talking so about being creative in the kitchen. Yeah. I don't. So I appliance, I'm trying to think of what appliance. Waffle, I, oh, what I would waffle like. Maker. I, no, I got a waffle maker, mm -hmm. which it sits up there. Never use that. <laughs> but what, you know what I want now? What? I want a new mixer. Okay. You know, because the one we have is. The KitchenAid? Yes. Yes. It's like 40 years old. Yes. Still works. Okay, we got a converter for it, but the new ones. I don't know if it's the uh, if it's theirs or the Kenwoods or whatever. But now they got it where it gyrates. The the mixing thing just moves all over the place because oh, right yeah, now yeah. on the one is stationary, it's just a hook. Yep. And in fact, when I do the other one where it's really wet, I use the other thing that looks like a honeycomb. And yeah, mix yeah. It with that. Yeah, yeah well, which you... is a bit better. Uh, but yeah, I just want something to. Well, that's fair a enough. Bit more professional. Well, like me. Yeah. That's right. Forty years is time. It's okay to upgrade. You're not going to keep your car for forty years. Yeah, maybe if yeah. <laughs> whatever the new one ever comes <laughs> in. Um, but that they are, and things change. The technology changes, and you want new yeah. stuff. See, so we have, like, you have an on stove, uh, high pressure or pressure cooker, mm -hmm. and I've got one of the plug-in ones which yeah. I use. But there's some things that just make. It's nice makes if it makes it, your life easier. Well, the the, the ninja one we have, mm -hmm. so it does like everything. So you have one thing sitting on the counter. It's a air fryer, a slow cooker, a pressure cooker. You know, th it's a whole thing. The only thing I don't like about it is to do like the air fryer. It's not big enough. Right. Well, they they really aren't. There are some ovens now that kind of yeah, have an air fryer because section. An air fryer is nothing but a convection oven. Yeah. Just yeah. a little one. You just feel better doing and, it. And uh, cook sets. What do you mean by cook set? Well, like, oh, cook, like, like pots and pans, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. nice ones, like really like copper or the beautiful stainless steel, yeah. or you know, just something to something special to upgrade. Yeah, what you like. And then you won't use them anyway. They're too pretty. <laughs> and salt and pepper shakers. Yeah. I saw we saw some cute ones. They were like a little ketchup uh -oh. bottle, and a little mustard <laughs> bottle. Or there's a, there are key ones that you can um, the kids can pick out and love, and there's people that like little tchotchkes yeah. around. We got little, little silver ones that look like snails. See, that's gorgeous. Yeah, we put that at that place in near Union Square, that specialty department store in, in San Francisco. Yeah, well, Williams of Sonoma was there. No, is there this, a different is, this one? has been there like four yards. I it's don't been know. there. Like Mom will probably know. Years. Yep. Okay. It's, Mom, it's, tell us. It's off of uh, Union Square. Yep. On the other side. So the St. Francis is there. Yeah. Uh, over that way. Okay. okay. And, yeah, See, so. 
we do we do something where we buy if we go away we buy something for the house yeah. and it's nice like that because you got, got that in san francisco or yeah. that trip i well, took that, that there we bought at that place and mm-hmm. then one time i was up for a trip up in in the bay area yep and i brought back jeanette uh, this bowl and we, we had it forever and then the, like the things on it, it it was a ceramic bowl with cherries in it oh know? and the stems were really done nice it was really decorative yeah but then eventually you know just from handling it you know moving it around or trying to clean it like the stems that the things broke off of the, but it was we had it forever well that's it that's a nice thing to enjoy it while you have yeah. it and mm-hmm. that, that's beautiful yeah pepper grinders well like a really good one yeah okay now you want a really good one yes please. i think i talked to you about this before but tell me again okay go to i know the only place that probably sells them <clears throat> that i re- remember is the south melbourne market okay and there's a spice place there that sells coffee and all that mm-hmm they have Turkish coffee grinders. Okay, yes. Now, Turkish coffee grinder is, I don't know, it's, uh, as round as, it's probably less round than a cup. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, and it's tall. Yes. Breaks up into two. Mm-hmm. So you put, yeah. So what happens is you put your beans on top and then it has a big grinder like this. Yep. It's all brass. Yes. Okay. And it's very heavy. And then it just grinds it down into the capture on the bottom. Right. So people realize, oh, wait a minute, this thing really looks great. Especially when you get people, uh, hey, you want that, you want ground pepper on it, you know? And yes. it, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this thing, like in two turns, it's like fills uh-huh. the dish up. And then you could adjust it to the fineness and mm-hmm. coarseness. Oh, nice. And it's it's a weapon. It's that heavy. Now, I'm pretty sure Herman, my stepdad, has something like that. Um, Mom will correct me if I'm wrong, as you know. Um, but this is indestructible. You know, you yeah. can buy a coffee grinder, a, a, a grinder. pepper grinder, you know, last a year it breaks and the handle comes off. And But yeah. do, have you, is there none at the Dandenong market? Because there's a few uh, spice places there. I haven't seen, seen it. it. Okay. But I haven't looked for it either. That, that's true. <laughs> now, now next time you go. Yeah, but I know it's in the, definitely in the South, South Melbourne, Melbourne market. market. Yeah. So all the way at Turkish the far grinder. end, where all the deli stuff is. Yep, you know, you'll find it down there. That's one of the. I haven't been there. I haven't yeah. been there actually and, ever. And probably any like the specialty coffee places. places. Okay, and where they sell coffee makers and brewers and stuff like. That. I bet you they would have that too. Oh, we'll have to have a look. Yeah. Well, that's very good because that. You know, it's as high as these microphone things, and and you can just smack the heck out of someone if right. you need to. Don't drop it on your foot. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. It'll put a dent in the floor. Well, yes, we don't need that if you have a nice wooden floor or. Yeah. Now, a cooking course. Now, this is not like you can't cook. Mm -hmm. Go to a cooking class. No, this is like for doing something new. Like That's a sushi right. class. Yes. yes. I, I would kill for cooking classes. You I go to sushi love class? them. There's one coming up next week. Where? At the Sandhurst. So they had two. They had one last week on the 17th. Yeah. Or whatever date with them. I don't know. Last week sometime. <laughs> yeah. And then they got one. I believe it's on the 27th at, uh, oh, what time is that? At nine o'clock. But, but you know, the good thing is you go to sushi class, you eat, eat lunch. Yeah. Well, you eat dinner. Or, or dinner. Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, let me know about that because I love those classes. I've mm-hmm. been lucky enough to um, go to a French cooking class, but we kind of, that one, we kind of mostly had to watch. I like where you actually you gotta do. It. do. Um, my sister in law, Trisha, and I did one years ago. We both, we got this present. It was for my 40th. So it was long. We went to this restaurant up in the Yarra Valley and we made a lemon tart and we made like a risotto we made all these beautiful things yeah. and then they served him in the restaurant like we actually the chef we paid him and then we cooked for him because yeah. we paid and then him. you want to go eat it you got to pay for it again <laughs> we did get lunch but that was the that was the best day because you learn tricks and tips and it's yeah. just beautiful okay well we're in this this section we'll be right back with the final there you go Okay, we're back. Yes, we are. Okay. okay, so the code for the month of April is anniversary. Because it's our anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Just say anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> 
on the USA Foods website, you can click on the listener discount logo and find the things that are discounted um, in regards to the show. The store is open seven days a week, so you can check the site for hours. Um, and you can please subscribe if you feel so in, uh, inclined to the podcast and you can share and engage with us um, at podcast at usafoods.com.au. Now on Saturday, April 30th. It's our 25th anniversary. <laughs> so we're gonna this is gonna be huge. It's gonna be we got trucks outside serving some stuff like coffee and uh what was that? Beef or something. You some know. food. You'll yeah, get some. Food. <laughs> okay. We've got a podcast going on. A podcast going on. Got Giveaways. Prizes, prizes. Discounts. I'm sure there'll it's be samples. Be huge. I should do a little Cal Worthington. <laughs> <laughs> Says, come on down come or I'll on. eat a bug. <laughs> <laughs> and this week's uh, feedback, we have one from Megan. Yeah, Megan. Send us an you email. You say Megan or Megan? Well, she goes by Megan, Megan because okay. her mom's Australian. Ah, like as in she was raised yeah. as a vegan. She um not a vegan. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's personal. I yeah. could be. Um, but she was sort of a, a people that have listened to us for a while will recognize uh, mm-hmm. Megan. She was from in my part of California, so she had been putting this together. She is hoping you're feeling better. She has enjoyed Thank listening you. to Anna and Sean, and she thought it was just funny that she uh, was listening to Anna, whose favorite thing in the world is a honey bun, and she got a recipe in the, her email for a um, honey bun cake. Oh. So she's passed that on to us if anyone would like to uh, look at that. We uh, we also at one point were talking about Baskin Robbins and my mom's favorite flavor is Jamocha, Jamocha Almond Fudge mm. and so is Megan's as well as my other favorite which is peanut butter and chocolate uh, which are great. Um, she also thought about mall food. Yum. Direct <laughs> quote. Um, I love Cinnabon, but it has to be the pecan one. I'm with you, Sean. Best shared with someone else. Um, she also loves the Pillsbury or- orange and cinnamon rolls even more and have a great copycat recipe. She also has a recipe for a vanilla slice. So I've got all these, but you know that um, Arnott's discontinued the lettuce biscuits. Yeah, I saw that. And that's what you use to make. Oh. And she said her husband says she's cursed because yeah. when she finds them. But I think there's a whole section, Megan, if you look around, there's people that are coming up for the best alternative. So we can have a look at that. Um, she never went to Old Time Burritos as we're talking in mall food, but um, I probably wasn't around where she where she was at the time. Um, her daughter is still touring with, touring with Tool. Tool. What a great job. I know. Twenty fourth prime of her life. Yeah. Now she's going off to Europe. I yes. Think. So she's been taking all sorts of pictures for her mother of Mexican food and uh, all the good stuff. Yeah. Somebody every uh, you know, like on Yankstown under and stuff like that. People always say, "Where can I get the best Mexican food in in Melbourne or in Sydney?" <laughs> you don't. In Los Angeles or <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Go to the airport. Well, <laughs> can... and the places that people go, like the young trendy people go, this is the best Mexican food. Because they never had it before. Yeah, and it's not. It's yeah. like, it's modern. Where's my free chips and salsa at the beginning? Yeah, yeah. we want <laughs> the neighborhood Mexican joint where someone's parents or grandparents are cooking in the kitchen. Exactly. And you get your big bowl of chips and salsa. Yeah, That's like the I one I went to in Venice Beach, the lady's over there, she's making yep. fresh tortillas. Like there's like one little section that's in the restaurant. And then she, that's all she does. Makes the that's fresh tortillas yep. there. Bam. <sighs> no machine, no nothing. No, that's, <sighs> oh, I love it. I miss it. And the next, please tell me when you go visit yeah. that you have some Mexican food. Well, I'll be in LA for two days. Yeah, have some taquitos <sighs> down at Olvera Street. No, I, you know what? I'm, I really what? want chili serranos. Oh, yeah. Chili oh, serranos. Oh. Yum. Okay. You told the audience about that. Okay. I mean, just to explain what's going on. Oh, well, I didn't know if I was in trouble or not. Yeah. Phil is going to be able to sneak out of the country. He's yeah. going on a special work trip. Mm-hmm. Just a very quick one. Yep, for a special project that we're working on. And we're not going to tell anybody yet. <gasps> not yet. No. Why don't we, well, you know what we'll do. In coming a, soon. Coming <laughs> soon. In a few weeks, we'll do a whole show on it. And yeah. we'll find out about your adventures. Mm-hmm. I will ask you about Mexican food. Yep. 
That will be episode 85. That will be episode 85, evidently. So there you go, well, sir. Well, I Mario Vargas, and uh, I'm going to have lunch with him and uh, John DeRosa. Oh. So I think I'm in good hands to get some great Mexican food. I think food. you will be. <laughs> we'll probably go to their mother's house. Oh, know? just send me some photos and just make me jealous. That's okay. Yeah. So that will be absolutely fantastic. Phil can do all of that for us. Now, and we only had one little bit of feedback. Well, mom had a few. She did enjoy the show. She did miss Phil. Um, but yeah, Leslie. Who does not surprise more people. I know. Uh, no. You don't know how loved you are, Phil. Yes. Um, Leslie, she disagrees with Sean. She oh. doesn't like Jif. She's not a Jif girl. She's Jif a Skippy peanut girl. Peanut butter. You're yeah. About yeah. No. Doesn't like it. Well, that's all right. Look, everybody has their own thing. That's like exactly right. That's what I say. Like, I like creamy. Janet doesn't like creamy. Yeah, she Sean likes, likes creamy. I like I crunchy. I like crunchy. Yeah. Yeah. This is a peanut butter for everyone. So, Leslie, just slow your roll. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> so, now we got to go to personal best product profile. Yes. What did you pick, Phil? Okay. So, today, nothing to eat. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. So, Beautiful. we got a new product here. Yes. Tide Antibacterial Spray. Anti- so it's for your clothes. Oh, okay. All right. Now. Tell me. Being an old-time hockey player, <laughs> and for all the hockey moms or all the moms out there or mothers out there, that children play sport and they get all their gear and they put it in a bag and it sits there and rots. It just all that smell percolates. Comes, yeah, comes from <laughs> bacteria. Yes. So now here's a product. You just open the bag up, close your nose, spray it, close the bag back up. <laughs> And you get rid of all that bacteria, all that odor. Oh, away. so you're not feeling sick when you need to take the stuff out later yeah, on. Or your car doesn't smell like it. <laughs> yeah. That is fantastic because we've got a few new deliveries this week. So yeah. I keep going out and every time I go out, I see something new. It's very and, exciting. And the whole area in the back, thanks to our local government, <laughs> not local, our federal government. Yes. Just, oh, we well, got to look at this. And when are you going to be here? Two weeks. Three weeks, weeks four yeah. weeks down. Oh, we're too busy. Then why are you looking at something you looked at 100? Because they don't keep no records. Uh, oh. see, I'm sorry. My, see, we got the rant. rant of the day. Yes. Yeah. It is very frustrating when you oh, see something so just busy. sitting so there. So why don't you tell the people in the front line that, that says everybody has to go do this, to look at it, and then they say, why am I doing it here? Could you smarten these people up? <laughs> well, when we get regular people in, often they go, I don't know why they said I had to look at that. Yeah. I already looked at this last week. Why are you looking at it again? Oh, uh, oh it's random. <laughs> BS. It's random. not. It seems to be a whole lot of random around us. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, so we've got some knowledge nuggets now. Mm-hmm. You go first. Because- I will. And yeah. this is, I have some great, fantastic old lady aprons. But the, the thing- one with the frills on it? like uh, I've got a couple of those, but I've got like, like the Like big- March from I Married March. <laughs> I've got ones that are almost like a different shirt, like a big, it's got cover up Yeah. because I'm not, I like things splatter on me. And every time I don't wear an apron. Yeah. It I, always happens. I always happens. And I always I wear have ruined, like brand new t-shirts. Yep. So it is handy just to have a throw over apron. You don't have to, you can spend a lot of money and get a beautiful, right? You can beautiful yeah, You don't apron. want to stain it anyway. No, that, no. Well, that's right. So yeah. you can go, I found you, it. You, you need like one of those shirts the artist wears, you know? Yes. Shirts that just like a coverall shirt. And... But you have to be careful of your sleeves because if you're near oh, the yeah. um, the fire. But um, everyone. Fire fryer. <laughs> <laughs> Say I dare you. Um, everyone, really, it's worth having an apron just in the cupboard. And if you're doing something that's going to splatter grease yep. or tomato sauce or anything like that, pop it on. Otherwise, you'll be having a fight with Don and Shout yep. and washing things over and over again. So that is my knowledge nugget. Okay. I'm uh, giving my mug, m- nugget to Muffy's mom. Yes. So she says a little nutmeg added to beef stews, casseroles, is tasty. It gives it that little bit of lift. I'm going to try that. Yeah. And nutmegs are in the store and just get a little nutmeg grinder. And- I love it. It looks like little mini people have its a little mini grinder. I love yeah. those things. Okay, and we got gas. Yes. Do you want to talk to us? It's about Easter sales. Uh, well, Easter sales uh, have uh, increased 5 to 7% this year compared to 2021 sales. Well, because everybody was locked down. Hello. That's right. Now you might visit people and have to and bring them things. Yeah. So uh, uh, NCA's Easter Central Digital Hub includes findings that include 91% of Americans plan to share their Easter trees. That's so they nice didn't, of them. They didn't talk to any kids, but Yeah, kids aren't doing <laughs> kids it. Kids are left out. <laughs> Here's another gosh. You know, yeah. uh, 
Jack, not Jack in the Box, the other Jack, uh, Cracker Jacks. Oh, yeah, Cracker Jacks. You know, they're changing. They're going to have Cracker Jill now, too. Are they really? Or are you just pulling my leg? You got Cracker Jack and Cracker Jill. Yeah. Or they're going to be together, Jack and Jill. No, no, no. Not Differently? Together, separate boxes. They're, they're right. going to keep them separate. Same thing, same flavor. Yeah. So you got Jack or you have Jill. Oh, well, there's an opportunity for yeah, selling so some more stuff. Take me out to the ball game, uh, Jill. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So that's uh, that's coming soon. That so it, well, store near you. <laughs> but maybe will we get some. Have we ordered well, some Jill? Because I'm sure it's going to be mixed in the box. I don't know how they're going to do it. Yeah. Now, sorry, going way back to a conversation yeah. we had, that, that Jack was named after the inventor's grandson or something, wasn't it? Yes, I that think so. That was the kid's name in the family, so it wasn't anything yeah. that was... Well, know. now I guess they figured Jack and Jill, but you know anybody named Jill anymore? <laughs> Other than, you know, that's less than 40 years old? No. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or Jack. Or well, Jack, we know yeah. Jacks. Yeah, we know Jacks, yeah. But, um, yes, Jack and Jill yeah. went up the hill. Yeah. Um, now... Next week's show? Slow cooking. (laughs) (laughs) The time of year to get warm and cozy. Yes. And slow (laughs) cooking. (laughs) Don't want to rush it. All right. We'll just mosey on down to our sign off. Okay. So yesterday's the past, tomorrow's the future, but today's is a gift. That's why we call it the present. Oh. Make that up. <laughs> well, the guy that did Family Circus. Oh, I remember from him. Yeah, he had the little fat little kid in there. Oh, you can't say fat anymore. Chubby. Uh, oh, uh, my God. Well-rounded. <laughs> yeah. <whatever. laughs> okay. Oh, so that's the end of the show. We'll see you next week with the slow cooking. <laughs> see you then. Okay. Don't forget our, uh, come, our live broadcast. That's right. We'll talk about it more. Bye. like fried chicken thighs that make me feel so good bacon fat I'd marry that if I only could stoking coals soothes my soul I love my barbecue understand I'm just a man with the pork fat baby back the news I've known girls around the world Sweet as apple pie Candy lips and honey hips Make me wanna cry is fine, but so is swine. Just don't make me choose. Cause understand, I'm still a man with the pork fat baby back balloon. Still your man with the pork fat baby back below